we're gonna go over why having too many options is not freedom, but is actually a trap. So the first problem that we have is the problem with overwhelm. So when we have too many options, we start to get overwhelmed with the number of things that we can choose to do, right? Or the uh, number of activities we choose to engage in. So for example, if I have 30 things on my to-do list, that is 30 things that I can choose from on what I should do next, how I should spend my time. And eventually, because there are just so many options, I will start to feel overwhelmed because there's just too many options. Like you ever get that feeling when you're at a restaurant and you're trying to look at the menu and see what you want to order, but the menu has like 30 pages and they're just like way too many entrees, way many appetizers, way too many drinks, where it just comes to the point where it's like, I don't know what I want. So it's kind of like that in life too, when, when you have too many options on what you can do next, uh, you know, what's next on the to-do list. Which brings us to the second problem, which is when we have too many options, we just spend way too much time thinking and deciding and comparing, uh, you know, this task to that task, you know, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense. And there's just too many things that we can choose from. And kind of like that menu example, we're just like, I'm, I'm good. You know, you spend 20 minutes, look at the menu and you still don't know what you want. Whereas in comparison, if you look at a menu, that's like a one pager. It's like you only have like 13 things you can choose from and therefore you're going to be able to make that decision way quicker. Which brings us to our third point, which is analysis paralysis. You know, when we have too many options to choose from, when we spend way too much time thinking, you know, of this versus that and comparing this and comparing that, chances are we can get into a, an analysis paralysis where we just end up doing nothing because we are so frozen by the choices that we are uh, given or the choices that we have that we just end up not choosing anything and end up not doing anything and therefore we just become paralyzed really by analyzing and thinking of all the options that we have. So that is why it is important to prioritize what's really important and what's really urgent. And I've done videos on this in the past. If I remember, I'll like link it up here somewhere. So yes, it's, it's important to prioritize, right? Um, like sure, we can start out with a list of 30 things, just like how we can look through a menu with 30 pages. But if we decide like, okay, I don't want any appetizer. I don't want any drinks. I don't want any pasta. I only want burgers or salad we've effectively eliminated like a big portion of our options and like with our list of things to do right sure we can have like 30 things on there but we get to decide like okay like maybe like which 15 isn't worth my time or which 15 can be done on like a different time or like on a different day right or maybe there are certain categories that, that is just not as important right now. Like if you're focusing on your health, right, in the first half of this year, then maybe the category of socializing uh, isn't as important to you right now. So through the process of prioritization and elimination, we can reduce the number of options that we have so that we can choose more quickly and not be bogged down by options. And there is a level of peace and power to having limited options because the thing that you decide to focus on, that is the thing that's going to get more of your focused energy. 
Like, can you imagine if you had like five jobs that you can choose from? It's like, do I want to go into the office today, or do I want to wait on tables today, or do I want to deliver pizza today? It's like that's just way too many options, and you know, you might spend like thirty minutes debating and choosing and kind of like you know just weighing each other out, right? And like that is lost time right there. You know, not to mention the chances of you getting into analysis paralysis just goes way up as well. But you know, once you decide what you want to do, you can put your focus, attention, and energy into that thing. Like if you decide to deliver pizza, your attention and energy is gonna go into delivering pizza, and you know you're gonna bring the highest level of service to the people, and you know make sure the pizza doesn't get flipped over or like whatever it is, right? When you don't have to spend that mental energy on deciding what to do, you can have more of the leftover energy towards the actual task and do it in excellence. And we only have a limited number of hours in the day. And the last thing we want to do is to spend hours choosing and debating on what we want to do, and then end up feeling. Overwhelmed, and then just end up doing nothing at all. So that was all for this video. And、um, also, you have the option to choose to like or dislike this video. So go choose.